Hi, my name is Jake and I'm a motion designer from Ukraine. That's why I have this weird accent. And now we will make this effect. Nailed it! For this effect we don't need to use any external plugins. Not even green screen or radoscoping. But first, I want to talk about this video sponsor. So I've learned that Videoblocks has one of the fastest growing largest stock video libraries with over 3 million videos, after effects and motion backgrounds, which is already super impressive. I scrubbed through their stock footages and got few ideas on how I would use them. Simplest example is to use it as transition effects. Just imagine, you have flashback of main character, which is telling about horrible fire he lived through. And this stuck fire you can use as transition from this horrible flashback to your main character. Also Videoblocks is the only contributor marketplace that gives 100% of the commission back to the artists. And all of these clips come with royalty free agreement. So you cannot get hit with copyright claims. They are giving away 7 days of Videoblocks. So you can try it out and get access to this massive video library and royalty free license for free. That's why I recommend to give it a try and go to videoblocks.com slash YouTube or click the link in the description box below to start downloading and get 7 days of video blocks for free. Let's get started. I'm using After Effects CC 2015. So let's import our footage. Go to File, Import, File. These footages will be in description below. So you can download it and follow along with this tutorial. So click Import, select the first one. Click and drag on this icon here. So you need to shoot your video just like this. You need to have your character in the place. And then you need to have only background. So let's work with this footage. Let's see the moment where I disappear. Here. Then select this layer. And press Ctrl D on keyboard. It will make a copy. Then at very last frame. Here where I'm still visible. Right mouse click on this layer. And go to time. Freeze frame. And let's cut this layer to this moment. Now we need to cut ourselves to make it smaller. Go to this pen tool here. And then using scroll on your mouse, you can zoom in and zoom out of your picture. Also you can press and hold space bar on keyboard to move around your image like this. And then using left mouse click, you can cut yourself out. Also you can click and hold to cut with more smooth edges. And then close your mask. Now if we click here to go to solo mode, you can see we cut out ourselves. Let's press F on keyboard, so we could see this mask feather. And let's set it to 2. It will make edges softer. Then go to this selection tool here. And select this layer with the mask. Let's press return on keyboard. To rename it, I'll call it me. And then by using this pen behind tool here, just select it. And click on this little target. You need to move it over here. Just below of our frame. Then press S on keyboard. Let's make a keyframe. And about here. Let's set it to zero. As you can see we have this basic animation. Let's have a little preview. It goes a little bit slow. So let's select this last keyframe. And go to Graph Editor. And then click on this icon here. And then let's drag by this handle to the left as much as we can. If your graph doesn't look like this, you need to go here. And change to Edit Speed Graph. Then click here. And let's see the animation. As you can see, now it's much faster. So we can just drag this keyframe about here. We made our animation a lot faster at the beginning and a bit slower at the end with this curve here. Okay, it looks good. And now let's make some copies of myself. Select this layer with the mask. Press Ctrl D on keyboard. Press Return on keyboard to rename it. We made a copy and I call it 1. Then select this layer and press U on keyboard. And click on this stopwatch to remove all keyframes, like this. Then change this mode to screen. If you don't see these modes, you need to click on this toggle switch here. So as you can see, we have our first copy. 
Now let's make some adjustments. Go to Effect, Color Correction, Curves. So idea here is to make ourselves looking like a ghost. But now as you can see we have two vibrant colors. So let's go to Effect, Color Correction, Tint. Let's set it to 50. Now it looks good. Let's select this Me layer and click on this toggle switch to see this motion blur icon. And along with this layer click on this checkbox. And then click here to activate our motion blur. So as you can see we already have some pretty good result. Let's also make this disappear. So select it and press T on keyboard to see our intensity. Click here to create a keyframe and then about here let's set it to 0. Select these both keyframes and press F9 on keyboard. It will make more smooth animation. It looks good but let's add some more details to our ghost effect. Select this layer and press Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy. Let's close this tab here. Press return on keyboard to rename it to one edges. And go here to effect and presets and type find edges. Drag this effect on this layer here and click invert. As you can see now edges become more highlighted. If we switch our resolution to full it will be more subtle. Let's set it to auto again. So our idea now is to make a few of these ghost clones. So let's select this layer of me, which is shrinking right now. Then press Ctrl D on keyboard, drag it above, press return on keyboard and call it 2. It will be our second clone. Cut this layer to this moment and press U on keyboard. And then once again let's delete all of these keyframes. Make sure your time cursor at this point in time and then click on this stopwatch to delete all of these keyframes. Then let's select this layer here, select this curse effect and then hold shift on keyboard and select this tint effect. Press Ctrl C on keyboard to copy and then select this new clone. And go to edit, paste or Ctrl V on keyboard. Then click on this toggle switch here to change this mode to screen. As you can see now we have another copy and let's make another one. So you can just look through where you want to have another clone. I like this size of the clone. So once again I select this me layer, pressing Ctrl D on keyboard to make a copy, drag it above and cut to this moment. Then press S on keyboard. Once again deleting all of these keyframes by clicking on this stopwatch here. Changing the mode to screen. And go to edit, paste. All of these effects which we copied before. And now let's also copy intensity animation. Just select this layer here, above me layer. Press T on keyboard and select both of these keyframes. And press Ctrl C on keyboard to copy. Then move your time cursor to this moment, just at start of this layer and press Ctrl V to paste. Now if we press T on keyboard you can see we paste our intensity animation. Let's do the same with this layer here, which we can rename it by pressing return on keyboard and type 3, because this is our third clone. Select it just at the beginning of this layer and press Ctrl V. Once again we added same intensity animation. As you can see it looks good, but I like to have some flash at the beginning. So let's make another copy of this layer called me. Select it and press Ctrl D on keyboard. Press return to rename it, I'll call it flash. Then change mode to screen. Let's also paste our intensity animation, Ctrl V. And let's copy all of effects from this layer. Select this first one. Hold shift on keyboard and select the last one. Go to edit, copy and then select our flash layer. And go to edit, paste or Ctrl V on keyboard. Let's extend this layer a bit like this. Then press S on keyboard to see our keyframes. Click on this stopwatch to delete our keyframes. And now let's go to effect, blur, CC radial fast blur. 
As you can see, it's pretty fun effect. Let's move the center point to about here. And let's animate this amount. Click on this stopwatch here. And then press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. Let's set it here to about 85. And here let's set it to 15. Let's also change this tint effect to 100. And here at opacity, let's set it to 0. So as you can see, now we have this flash. Let's also add some curve effect. Go to effect, color correction, curves. And let's make this a lot brighter. Let's press U once again to see our keyframes. And let's animate our amount of CC radial fast blur to about 15. So we have this flash and then it goes off. As you can see, you can make as many copies of yourself as you want. You can make even another one here. Just copy this layer, Ctrl D on keyboard, drag it up, rename it to 4, go to screen and copy these effects. Ctrl C, Ctrl V and cut this layer to this moment. Then copy intensity from some of these layers and paste it right here. Also press S on keyboard to remove all of these scale keyframes. And that's how fast and easy you can add some clones. To make this scene more exciting, you can select all of these layers, starting with the me layer, up to all above. And then with this pick whip, we can parent to our background layer. And now we can animate our scale. Just press S on keyboard, create a keyframe. And here at the beginning, let's set it to about 110. And here at the end, let's also select this pen behind tool and change this anchor point to about here. And then here at the end, let's set it to about 125. Select all of these keyframes by pressing on this scale, press F9 on keyboard. It will make a more smooth animation. Let's also go to graph editor and let's make this kind of curve. So now as you can see, we are simulating zoom on our camera. By playing with these curves, you can make your scene a bit more exciting. Now let's move to our next scene. Just left mouse click on this video, hold and drag and drop on this icon here to create new composition. So here is basically the same technique as we did here. So all you need to do is to shoot yourself like you're jumping on some object and also have some clear background. So let's find the moment where I'm visible. Press Ctrl D on keyboard, cut to this moment and right mouse click on this layer. Go to time, freeze frame. Then you need to cut yourself out by using this pen tool here as we did before. I'll do it roughly to not waste any time. Then press F on keyboard to smooth the edges. Let's set it to 3. Then using this pen behind tool, let's move our anchor point here, where I supposed to land. Press S on keyboard to animate our scale. Set a keyframe by pressing on this stopwatch here. And about here, let's set it to 0. Select this keyframe and press F9. And you can also animate rotation. Press R on keyboard. Set a keyframe. And let's rotate it a bit like this. Move it under this keyframe and press F9 also. So now as you can see we have this animation. So this effect exactly as this one. You just need to make a few copies of yourself. And now let's make this final shot. I've recorded another video. It's third one. So let's select it, drag and drop on this icon here. So as you can see I did not use any green screen or radius copying. I did not. You need just to place your camera on tripod. Make sure that lighting in your scene doesn't change and you should not have any movement in your scene. You should be the only one who's moving in your video. And then record just clean plate. So now let's place our time cursor here where we have our clean background. Then press Ctrl D to make a copy. Right mouse click on this layer and go to time. Freeze frame. Set it below. You can disable it. And now let's work with this layer here above. We can even cut our composition to this moment. Just drag by this handle to this moment, then right mouse click on this area and select trim comp to work area. Now let's go to effect, keying, difference mat. And here in difference layer, let's set it to this second layer. As you can see, we cut ourselves. 
basically this effect looks at these both layers and tries to see what is the difference between them. And as you know, only thing which is moving is me. So that's how you can cut out yourself. As you can see, we have lost some details. So let's set it here to about 7. Then here in effects and presets, let's type matte choker and drag here. Let's also set here to about 2 to bring back some details. And don't be afraid to lose some parts of your image. Because we will make this a lot smaller, so at the end it will be not that visible. It is pretty usable result. Just select this rectangle tool here. And let's get rid of these garbage edges. Now let's go back to this second comp. Go to project panel. And then drag our third composition and this scene. Now press S on keyboard. Let's change scale to about 35. And just place above your object. As you can see now it looks pretty cool. You can also press Ctrl D. Go to screen. Add some curve effect. Drag it on top. Then let's add some find edges effect. Click invert. And then let's go to effect. Blur and sharpen. CC radial fast blur. And set the center to about here. And now let's animate our amount. At the beginning let's set it to 85. Set a keyframe. Press U on keyboard to see our keyframe. And about here let's set it to 15. Also let's press T on keyboard to see our opacity. Set a keyframe. Drag it over here. And here let's set it to 0. So we have this fading animation. You can also press F9. We can set transfer mode to add to see it better. And let's adjust our curve. Like this. So this is how I made this shot here. We can split our background layer. Just select it, set your time cursor about here and press Ctrl Shift D. Let's place it above, select these both layers and let's parent them to this background layer. And now we can also animate our position and scale. Let's add some zoom effect. Select pen behind tool, move our anchor point about here. Let's set a keyframe to scale. And about here let's set it to 120. Select this keyframe and press F9 on keyboard. Go to graph editor and drag by this handle here. So now we have this zoom effect. We can also press alt key on keyboard, hold it and click on this stopwatch here. Now we can write expression. Type wiggle, open bracket, 2, comma, 25, close bracket. First value is how often it will wiggle and second value is how much it would wiggle. Click anywhere and now let's see result. So this is basically how I made this shot. Hope you like this effect, leave a like if you did. And I want to say thank you to Videoblocks for sponsoring this video. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.